Hello friends, welcome to Leg Life. So, we've officially reached the end of April. Mm -hmm. The first cruise ship has already arrived here in Alaska. Yeah. The snow is melting and our thoughts are turning to summer. Yeah. Summer, <laughs> like Olaf. <laughs> we are so looking forward to summer this year. Yes. I feel like we look forward to it every year. Yes, but I feel like this winter has been exceptionally long. Which makes us just like want summer to be here so badly. Yes. And so we've started talking about what in the heck our summer's gonna look like. What are we gonna do? What adventures we to go do we want to go on? Yep. All of that stuff. Mm -hmm. So this video is going to be our 2023 Alaska summer bucket list. Yeah. Summer is the season that every Alaskan looks forward to. Um, we like make our way um, fight our way through the winter to like enjoy the summer and like <laughs> we know so many people us included who when talking about like travel or big trips outside of Alaska it's like I'm not leaving no not if we can help it in the summer like May to September we want to be here yeah There's... because we we fought through September to May and so we deserve the goodness that is of the Alaska summer gosh darn it <laughs> And so we have earned it. We have earned it. <laughs> and so this year we really don't have, I mean, I have some work trips and that kind of thing, mm -hmm. um, but we really don't have a lot of stuff planned this summer right. as far as outside trips. Now, mm -hmm. I do want to give one little caveat to this. Right. Uh, with mom's health, we don't know how many trips to Colorado could be coming up. Yeah. Uh, so we're kind of keeping space in our schedule for that. Yes. But we sat down and we thought through the things that have that either we have done a long time ago, we haven't mm -hmm. done recently, or that we've never done. Yeah. And we said, you know what, gosh darn it, these are the things we want to try to tackle this summer. Yes. We're not going to get all of them. No, we're not. And I know that realistically, yeah. like, I, you know, again, with any open travel that we might have to Colorado, um, mm -hmm. also with, you know, jobs, it's hard to, like, <laughs> just take off. So um, yeah. there is, you know, there, there are things on this list that we might not get to but these are this is like the wish list this is the wish list yeah. um and all of this is stuff that is either here in anchorage where we live mm -hmm. or statewide so this is all alaska stuff because for us summer is all about alaska yes and we know that a lot of you travel to alaska in the summer as well yeah and so maybe there's some things on this list that weren't on your list that should be that should be <laughs> so the first thing i want to start with um is a group of three museums Yep. Okay, now there are, we have like the big Anchorage Museum here. We've been there lots mm -hmm. of times. We love it. Yep. But there are other museums in Anchorage that um, a couple of them we've never been to. Yeah, and one has been a long time. One has been a long mm -hmm. time. That first one that has been a long time is the Alaska Aviation Heritage Museum. Yep. It's like seven minutes from our house. And it's, I mean, it's it's small, and it's, uh -huh. but it's fun. Like it's just, there's... It's interesting. It's always fun to go through. And so much of our state is aviation, mm -hmm. like based or relies on aviation. Yep. That it talks about that. It talks about the history of aviation, aviation in Alaska. There's a number of planes there you can walk through mm -hmm. and experience. And I, it's been years since we've been there, but I remember liking it. Yeah. It's time to go back. Yes, it is. The other two, <laughs> um, one of them, I have never been to, and you've never been to. Yeah. The other one you haven't been to, and it's been like years and years and years. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's been so long, I don't even know the official name of it. <laughs> I think it's like the Alaska History, Alaska Natural Museum of History, the Alaska Museum of Natural History, something like that. I didn't even know it was a thing. Here's what I know about it. Dinosaurs. <laughs> oh. And it... Let's be honest. Do you need to know anything else? I honestly didn't even know we had that in Anchorage. It's in Mountain View. <laughs> it's in like a warehouse in like a neighborhood that you wouldn't expect a museum about dinosaurs to be in. Um, I was there years ago for a work event and I remember thinking, wait, how did I not know this was here? Right. It talks about dinosaurs in Alaska. What were the dinosaurs we have in Alaska? Yeah. I remember they used to have like a, um, a full beluga whale skeleton. Oh. Just like a lot of really cool things. So... We want to go check that out. Yes. And there's a third museum, and this one I literally have no idea what to expect. <laughs> right. It is right downtown uh -huh. on Fifth Avenue. It's the uh, like the law, the Alaska Law Enforcement Museum, I think. Right. And it talks about the history of law enforcement in Alaska. <laughs> I'm super intrigued. Yeah, and I mean, and it's 
it's really close to one of our favorite little cafes. Oh darn, I guess we'll have to stop for coffee <laughs> shop and lunch. But like, I've never been there. And it's just like, it's, I don't know, something to do and something to explore in our home city. Because there's all of these little things, and I don't know if you guys are like us, but sometimes you get in the, the rut of doing sort of the same things over and over. Yeah. And so as we were thinking about our summer this year, we thought, what are the things that aren't a part of that routine? Right, that we just either haven't done in a really long time or have never done. And so, so yeah. So hopefully those three museums, um, we're going to go check out. We'll bring you guys along. Yeah. The next place is one that I we've never been. And I I can't believe we haven't gone. Right. It's the Alaska Botanical Gardens. How have we never gone with me taking pictures of every single flower that I ever come across? I have no idea. It's here in Anchorage. Like I've never been to the Botanical Gardens. I don't, I don't know. I genuinely don't know how we haven't been. I don't know either. So I... We need to I'm sorry. remedy that situation. So this summer it's going to happen. Yeah. And another thing we wanted to do, and we've actually had this... So we have this little board up here, <laughs> yeah. which is like a vlog so ideas. if you see me looking up, it's because I'm, um, I'm looking at the board. And the top thing on the vlog idea, I bet I wrote up there a couple of years ago when we put that board up. I wrote up there. You did? What was, it was, whose handwriting is that? That's definitely not mine. <laughs> it, came, it came from my brain. How about that? Yes. My brain... Through your hand. Yes. Um, and that is a tour because in the su in the summer here in Anchorage, we have the most beautiful flowers. Yes, the Parks and Rec um, department like goes all out all over the city. Beautiful it's hanging, beautiful hanging baskets and amazing flower beds. Yeah. And for the last <laughs> few years, we've wanted to give you <laughs> like a summer Anchorage flower tour. Yes. Because we love doing that. We don't know if you guys are going to, but it doesn't matter because we do. We're going to take you along anyway. <laughs> you're going to go with us anyway. You're, you're going to you know like it. funny is so we have the Anchorage Flowers yeah. like tour, and then right below it is the Botanical Gardens. Yeah, do you see what's below that? And then right below that is the, the Aviation, Aviation Museum. Heritage Museum. <laughs> so like these are all things that for years we've wanted to do. Yes. And so Botanical Gardens and then like a flower tour. Yeah. I just feel like that. They're such beautiful things. Yes. So we have to go do it. Yes. All right. Trying to see what else we have next. Okay. So... We, we don't know what it's called. We don't know what it's called. So we just wrote a description. When you are heading south of Anchorage, like you're going to, <laughs> going to Girdwood, yep. you pass through the town of Indian, and as you're heading south, on the left-hand side is a big log cabin. Mm -hmm. With all of these little, like, wood carvings outside. And they're, like, some of the wood carvings are, like, a life-size bear. Yeah. They're huge. Or moose. Or moose. Or, yeah, like, all kinds of stuff. And we've always, I think it's, like, a wood carving shop. But we have no idea. So I literally just wrote wood carving place south of Indian. Because <laughs> we don't know what it's called. But listen, like every single time we drive past it, we're like, we, we should go there. We're like, we, we should, should stop. stop there. Have we ever? Nope, never once. No, never once. So we're going to. Maybe it's a private home and we'll get chased away with a gun. It doesn't look like, I mean, it looks like a shop. That's how I feel too. That's why I feel moderately safe doing it. Right. So... <laughs> We'll see. We'll find out. We'll find out. Yeah. But it's funny. It is one of those places, like, every time we drive by, we're like, we're going to stop there sometime. We're going to stop there sometime. <laughs> and, like, do you guys have those <laughs> where in you're going through your daily life, you're going through your routine, and it's like, I'm going to stop at that shop. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to have lunch there. I'm going to... This is the summer that we're going to actually flip and do that stuff. We are. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. Okay, what do we got next? Next is the Virgin Creek hike. Oh, okay. So, Virgin Creek is down in the town of Girdwood, and it is... In my opinion, when you're thinking of very small effort for very big payoff, mm -hmm. Virgin Creek is a great one. The falls at the end are beautiful. It's super easy to do. And you've gone a couple of times, mm -hmm. and you took Auburn. Yeah, um, I think we took the I think we took the Zachmans there. Yep. yep. And I I've never done it, and partly because we until you had done it a few times, you weren't really sure if I could handle it. So. Sherry's EDS, uh, mm -hmm. that's her Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, which you've had for your whole life. Right. Um, is, so a lot of you guys probably know it from our Why We Can't Have Kids video. That's mm -hmm. sort of where we first started to talk about it. Yep. Um, EDS is a connective tissue uh, thing that- Disorder. Disorder that affects connective tissue, also joints and stuff. Yep. There are a lot of people with EDS that actually- their EDS isn't as severe as yours, who are in wheelchairs. Right. Like, like it's not a little thing. It is, it's a big thing. Right. It's also the thing that when we go to, like, Disney, why you hurt so flippin' bad at the end mm -hmm. of Park Days. 
halfway through park days and why i'm in tears at the end of park days <laughs> yeah eds is largely why we don't do disney parks anymore right because yeah. because of the eds you are just absolutely miserable yeah and then it's like days to recover <sighs> however um one of the benefits that we're starting to see of you guys remember Sherry's health scare a couple years ago with her exfoliative erythroderma. Mm -hmm. Because of that, she went on an injection called TALTS. One of the benefits of TALTS is that it can help with joint pain. Yes, and I think that it does. Um, I know that it does. Mm -hmm. um, I'm on many other things that also mm -hmm. help with joint pain. True. So I'm not sure if I can like pinpoint one specific thing that's really helping a lot. I think it's, it's the whole plethora. Mm -hmm. um, but I will say, it's my joint pain now is less than it was two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's, I feel like I'm in a better place where I might be able to handle these kinds of hikes yep. where I couldn't three years ago, two years ago. So the summer we're going to push Sherry a little bit. Yeah. Um, we're going to do Virgin Creek. And again, super, I have no, I mean, you'll easily be able to do it. It's, it's super simple. Like if you visit Alaska and you're in Girdwood, Go do it. It's great. The falls at the end are beautiful. Um, I've seen your vlog. And you've it, seen, yes, it's wonderful. <laughs> and it looks beautiful, and I really want to go. So I think... And yeah. there, there are a bunch of other easy ones. Like, down in Seward, there's Exit Glacier, which, like, again, there's things that I've done that you haven't been able to do, mm -hmm. and we're just wanting to try to see if, because of the injections and how you're feeling, you can do them. Right. So we're going to start with Virgin Creek. Yeah. And I'm very excited. Yeah. And then we'll just go from there. Um, and then, uh, oh, I'm so excited about this one. Yeah. This oh, one actually we just kind of came up with today. I was thinking back over our travels the last couple of years, primarily during COVID. Mm -hmm. And you will remember that travel was shut down for the most part. Mm -hmm. And so what we did was traveled in Alaska. Right. And I've loved it because over the past couple of years, as I've gotten to talk to people here in Alaska about where we went, I've realized, and we were guilty of this to some extent, that when you live in Alaska, sometimes you don't get to many new places. You don't get to experience a lot of Alaska. In Alaska, right, because almost every time you fly, it's to go outside, so to get out of Alaska. So what you tend to see if you live on the road system is you see Anchorage and Seward and uh, maybe Homer and you know what I mean? Like Kena, you go to tell Kena. That's right. You like stay on the road system. Mm -hmm. But as we've gotten off of the road system, we've discovered some of our very favorite places in Alaska. Right. And so we've decided that this year, our goal is one new place that we've never been. And what we mean by that isn't like, oh, look, here's a neighborhood in Anchorage. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, no. We want to fly to a place we've never been, whether it's like King Salmon or Cordova or Sitka or, mm -hmm. a, you know what I mean? Like Adak is on my list. Nome, yeah. Kotzebue, yeah. all of these places that we want to start checking off our list. Mm -hmm. um, and so one of those this summer. Yes. I love that. Yes. Um, and it's really cheap to fly there on Alaska Airlines miles. So Really cheap in state. This is one of the, you guys, I, I know a lot of you don't live in Alaska. Um, when I was looking at in-state travel this summer, it was 5,000 miles each way. So about 10,000 miles round trip per person. Uh, that's nothing. Right. Like, I think we have 200,000 air miles. Right. You know what I mean? And so we could do a number of trips and our transportation there is is free. Yeah. And so... Uh, yeah, utilizing Alaska Air in-state is without a doubt one of our goals this year. Yes. I'm excited to start figuring out where exactly we want to go. Yeah. What's that one new place? We have ideas. We have ideas, but nothing solid. Oh, God, I can't talk about it. I want to talk about it so bad. <laughs> um, okay, next one. <laughs> this might be more me than Sherry. Might, might be. I love camping. I love not camping. That's true. Camping... <laughs> Camping to Sherry is a hotel where the breakfast is in the lobby and you have to go get it yourself and they don't have room service. And I still just send him to do it. That's roughing it. Mm -hmm. It's like, I'm sorry, what? No room service with adorable tiny bottles of ketchup? I'm out. I'm out. Don't put me down for that. <laughs> but I love, I love, love, love camping. I know you do. Don't so much love sleeping on the ground. 
because I am in my 40s now. Correct. But one of my goals is to get out camping, whether it's by myself, whether it's a group of friends. Mm -hmm. um, and I want to do either like camping in the Jeep or tent camping. I don't want to go to like a cabin or anything like that. Like I want to, I want to go camping. I want to sit outside. I want to build a fire. I want to roast the weenies and I want to make s'mores. And I want to swat away mosquitoes and remind myself of this is why I never go camping. <laughs> This is the worst idea ever. This is so dumb. <laughs> and it's so light outside and it never gets dark because it's Alaska and you're laying there at three in the morning and it feels like it's 10 a.m. and you're cold. I <laughs> think it sounds so fun. I want to go so bad. There is not one single part of that aside from the s'mores that actually sounds like appealing to me. So camping for me this summer. <laughs> Correct. I'm doing it. Gosh Do it. darn it. Do it. Okay, what else is next? Berry picking in the fall. Oh my gosh. This is something we talk about literally every single year. We even have like the little berry scooper things. And um, have we ever actually gone and used them? No. We've never used the berry scooper things. I've gone berry picking. Right. But never. I, I, just, I have never actually gone. Aside from like a power line where it's just like. You're just picking as you eat. Right. Or like as you walk. Right. Um, eating as we walk. Eating as we walk. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, so. Berries in Alaska are a big deal. And here's the thing, I joined like an Alaska berry picking Facebook group. Of course you did. A couple, <laughs> a couple years ago. <laughs> and I learned something quickly. Whoa, people are very possessive about their berry spots. If you ask like, hey, where do you go pick berries in Anchorage? They'll just be like, back off or I'll stab you. It is like lock and key. Whoa, it's kind of like people's favorite fishing holes. Right. It's like, hey, what's your secret fishing hole? It's like, I'm not telling you. Where do you pick berries? I'm not telling you. And so, but. I have some friends who have told me. Yeah. And so uh, I want to go and actually do some berry picking this year. I would enjoy that. Because we have friends who go, we have friends who will give us berries. I know that we can just get freezers full of berries, <laughs> but I want to go do and it. And pies, people will make us pies with the berries that they pick. We have amazing friends. However, it I would, would still actually enjoy doing that. That's, so would I. Yeah. And so we need to stay on top of it because I feel like we talk about it through the summer. And it's like, okay, berries aren't ready yet. Berries aren't ready yet. Berries aren't ready yet. And, and there's that, kind of a window. And then I feel like it's always like three days after. And we're like. Yeah, we're like, let's go pick it. berries. And they're like, oh, no, everything's already picked over. Like, Come on. <laughs> so berry picking is also on our summer. Yeah. Now, this next one is also for me. 100%. Fishing. Yes. But I think what I want to do is I think I want to go on a halibut charter. Now, is that like stand on a river real fishing? No. Do I care? Literally not even a little. No, I don't care either. It's fishing. And I I don't have any desire to actually do that part. But I mm -hmm. will, if if it's on a weekend <laughs> when I'm not working, I will go with you and, like, stay in an Airbnb and, like, read. And you can go out and do the gross fishing and then just bring it back. And we can, I'll, I will help you eat it. Okay. So, that's not, okay. So, you want to you wanna staycation while I go out fishing? Correct. Okay. I don't think that's what I had in mind. Um, <laughs> and so what I want to do, I probably is a halibut charter because I love salmon. You don't like salmon, uh, but you love halibut. You love cod. You love most white fish. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like a halibut charter is the way to go. Um, I haven't been in a number of years. I've yeah. always loved going in the past. Yeah. And so uh, going out fishing once for me. Um, and you might wonder why in the world I don't fish. I live in Alaska. <laughs> well, I started in the hotel industry when I was like 14 years old. Right. Um, and the thing with working in the hotel industry, and remember I worked in the hotel industry for over a decade mm -hmm. and May to September, you just work nonstop. And that's kind of prime fishing season in Alaska, right? Yep. And so while well, all of my friends through, you know, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 into my twenties were going fishing on the weekends or were, you know what I mean? Like these late night trips to go down and get a bunch of fish. You were just working. I was working. Yep. And so because I had like my first career, it was so seasonal, mm -hmm. I just never got into fishing. And we've always had friends that will go dip daddy to go fishing and like bring us a bunch of fish. And so it's like, well, I, we already have fish. So yeah. what do I need to go for? Yeah, but I, it's something you enjoy, so I think that you should go. It is something I enjoy, so yeah. definitely going to yeah. go. Um, the next one. Oh, this is fun. Yeah. So, <laughs> Sherry, where did we get the passport last year? I think the Nally. I think that's right. So, you may remember we got a National Park Passport. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the things that we... Wi Which we will be bringing on our cruise. That we haven't told them about that. We just mentioned we're going on one. We'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> 
this one. Um, <laughs> and we, uh, it's a national park passport that mm -hmm. you get stamps for all the different national parks you visit. We wish we would have started this years ago. Yes. Agreed. Um, but we didn't, so we're starting now. Yeah. And so kind of along with wanting to travel to one new place in Alaska, we also want to visit one new in-state national park that we've never been to. Yep. And there's a lot. There's a lot of national parks in Alaska. So. There are. So hopefully adding a national park stamp to our passport yes. um, is in it this year. Let's just talk about what you mentioned. Uh, we did <laughs> reference a couple videos ago, I think, mm -hmm. that we do have. Um, I don't even know if we said this. It's another Alaska cruise we're doing. So, right. so we are doing another Alaska cruise with Princess actually uh, next month in May. That's all the details we're going to give for now. Yes. Um, but late May, early June, mm -hmm. look for more Alaska cruise vlogs coming. Yes. We're very excited. It's on. I think a, we talked about it on my job announcement. Oh, that's probably because right. it's a princess cruise that we used my discount. For. It is. It is a princess cruise. Uh, it's mm -hmm. on a ship we've never been on. Yeah. Uh, so we're very excited about that. Yeah. Um. All right. Next one. I'm excited for this, and we've talked about this honestly again for several years. Yeah. And we've never actually done it, but we want to play tourist for a day here in Anchorage. With, do all of the touristy things. With some very specific things in mind. Yes. So downtown Anchorage, 4th Avenue, uh, we have our like visitor center, which is like this little log cabin with... With grass on the roof. It's super adorable. <laughs> super cute. Uh, but right outside of it, they have trolleys. Yes. Now, are trolleys a part of Anchorage's story? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> but they just have them. They drive you around and they do these like city tours. And we've, not, we've, like, honestly, I, I pass them, like, going to work every day, and I'm always just like, that would just be so much fun. Yep. Like, all summer long, I see them, and I'm just like, how have we never done this? And so, just like plain tourist for a day, all yep. of the things yep. that a lot of you do yeah. <laughs> in our city, mm -hmm. um, we want to do that. Basically, just like tourist for a day in Anchorage. Yeah. Kind of go to the tourist restaurants, shop in the tourist gift shops, do the tourist activities, and just do that. Doer, doer, do the tours thing. <laughs> doer the tours thing. <laughs> I love you a lot. I know. The next thing actually isn't on this list, oh. but it's something that I want to do this year. Um, so we have two cruise ships that are coming to Anchorage this year. Right. They are both your ships. They're my ships. They're Holland America ships. Holland America is <laughs> bringing two ships mm -hmm. uh, to Anchorage. One of them is on May 11th. One of them, I think, is in September. There's like an early season and a late season. Mm -hmm. um, but those are the only two ships coming to Anchorage this year. Right, because Anchorage isn't really like a port destination. Nope, we don't get, obviously, only two of them. Just two. Um, and so yeah. I was thinking how fun it would be to go down and like watch the cruise ship come up the inlet. That would be a lot of fun. We've never done that. And so I was on the uh, schedule the other day for kind of cruise, the arrivals for Alaska, different ports. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got the times for it. And I just want to go see that. I think it'd be fun. I think it's like during my lunch. So I could like... I think so. Take my lunch and go watch a cruise ship come in. And so I also was just thinking about how how often like we love watching ships whenever we travel, like go away, mm -hmm. right? Just like leave port and how weird it will be to see it here in our own city. Yeah. We've had cruise ships before. We've just never gone and seen them. Right. Yep. So that's on the yep. list. The last thing. One last thing. And it is spooky. <laughs> and that was really cute. <laughs> wow. It's the ghost tours that Anchorage does that we've <sighs> never done. The ghost tour has been on our list for so stinking long. I know, and I we just need to do it. We just need to do it. And again, like we see them walking downtown and we're just like, how have we never done this? Every time we see the ghost tour, we say that. I know. We're like, oh, this is, the, this is the time. We're gonna book it this week. We're gonna book it this month. We're gonna book it this year. Literally have never done that. We never have. This is the year, gosh darn it. I know, and here's the thing. Yes. This is something I actually literally just thought of, so we haven't discussed this. Oh boy. In August. Uh-huh. It is my 20th anniversary of being here in Alaska. 20 years. Wow. Right? And so I feel like... What day in August? The, well, the 14th, 15th. Was when 20 years ago, August 14th, 15th, you came up here? Yes. Because I got delayed and so it ended up being a two-day travel. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. So what, yeah. Are you, what are you thinking? What do you, how do you want to celebrate? I don't know, but I feel like this is kind of a good thing. Like all of the things that we just all have always talked about doing and never actually done. We've been talking about them for two decades. It's a good idea. I think we're gonna we're gonna check some things off the list this summer. And Alaska tattoos. 
I mean, I'm just kidding. Just throw that out there. So I would be okay with that. The same. So you guys, <laughs> there you go. That is our. That's what we hope. Mm -hmm. um, our Alaska summer bucket list looks like. Again, we know that we won't hit all of these. I know. And also, we know that there's things on here that, like, or there's not things on here that we're gonna do. Right. I was just gonna say that. There's probably things we're gonna be like. We need to add that to the list. And there are a lot of things that we didn't put on here that we just always go do. Like farmer's markets. Like forest fair. Like the forest fair in Girdwood. Mm. Like other little festivals. Like the state fair. Like, you know what I mean? Like there's all of we're these- We're still gonna do all of those things too. We're still doing all that stuff. <laughs> but we just, they're just already a part of our life. Right. And so we didn't include them. Right. What, is there a thing you're most looking forward to of all of this? I think this one. Which one? What is that? They, they can't see that. It's the one new place in Alaska. And because of some of the ideas that we've been talking about, um, again, like bucket list and not just like this summer bucket list, but like life bucket list items life that we have always wanted to do. And so I, I think we're going to try to make it happen this summer. That's actually my, that's the one that I'm the most excited about as well. Yeah. Yeah. Good team. Really cannot wait. So friends, we love you guys so much. <laughs> excited to bring you along for all this. Yeah. As we continue to show you just more about our home state of Alaska. Yep. Uh, if you have things in Alaska, if you live in Alaska, if there are other things that you know, some hidden gems, uh, that aren't if you have been a tourist here and you're like, these are the things that you should do because they were great. Yes. Let us know. Love that. Please. Because honestly, we live here. And so like it's the tourist mind isn't really us. Like, mm -hmm. I, I don't know, like the fun, weird things to do that tourists like to do because we live here. And like so trolleys. We, like trolleys. And ghost tours. Yeah. All right. We love you guys. <laughs> we'll see you on the next Lug Life video.